continued sleeping and hey maybe you should just take a slower morning let me know what you guys are doing right now or that wouldn't be smart it definitely wasn't enough good morning everyone for those that don't know me my name is Jen. You guys know I've been transitioning more into these daily vlogs. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It shows me that you guys really like this content. Last night, I actually went to sleep thinking I was gonna have such a productive morning. Started marrying my husband. Alex tells me that he doesn't want to watch this whatsoever, but then he insists that we just continue moving on to next episodes. Me and Alex were supposed to go work out at Black Swan Yoga at 7:15 a.m. on a Friday. We both still have work today, and we thought we were just so about it. Like that, that idea just seemed so great last night. But then I woke up. But then I woke up. And I tapped Alex and I was like, hey, what do you think about Black Swan this morning? And he was like, whatever you want to do, I'll do it. Obviously, I asked because I felt myself just wanting to continue sleeping. It is great to stay super active, do yoga, you like stretch out your body. Um, but I decided to listen to my heart, listen to my body. And my body was telling me, hey, Jennifer, continue to sleep and instead take a slower morning. And so that is what I did. Walk you through along my morning today and some things that I wanted to tackle. I hope you guys enjoy this video. about the Stanley Cup and all the drama they're having. Stanley has kind of taken over this world. Supposedly they contain leaded it, especially here on the bottom. So Hydro Flask is completely blasting them too, which I think is just hilarious. On the news a few days ago, this lady like stole $25,000 worth of Stanley Cups at Target, which is kind of crazy because how do you get yourself this stuff and steal $25,000 worth of these Stanley Cups? I don't know, has it been preventing you guys from drinking these? Because I've still been drinking it. I see on TikTok a lot of people doing like these lead tests on these Stanley bottles. So they get like a little swab and they pretty much swab little bits and pieces of the Stanley Cup, especially the bottom. For every one that I've watched turned out to be negative. So that's why I'm continuing to use this. Whatever. Stanley themselves did post that they do have lead in their Stanley bottles. However, the lead is only exposed when the Stanley Cup is broken. That comment itself is a little deceiving because broken, you don't know what necessarily broken means. Like there's like a small little dent in it, which I know a lot of people have dents in their Stanley Cups. Does that mean lead is exposed? Is it mainly this bottom is destroyed, it gets exposed? Who knows? Let me know what you guys are doing right now. I feel like people are still gonna continue like me, okay? It is on the pricier end, but I promise it's worth it. And I just got a new container. I think this like one container this big is about $50. And then there is another container about that size. It's like $30. It honestly tastes like a matcha latte to me. Don't call me crazy. One full cup just like that. Mix this sucker up. Upwards. 
haven't messed with that yet, so I will learn how to do that. <laughs> What I really liked about the stand specifically, it turns downwards. You can do whatever here with the camera facing down, not having to hold my camera, adjust back and forth in order to angle it. This is Jen from another angle. I'm going to keep you. I'm just so happy that I didn't go this side. I'm showing different angles I can go to right now. This feels so fancy. Here, let me prop it up in a different angle. This thing here, we are going to unbox this. One of those items where you don't want to buy it for yourself. I have two of these containers, but definitely wasn't enough. My sister actually got this for me. Thank you. I tried to organize a little bit this morning. These are the two that I have. They're the Oxo brand as well. I went to H Mart recently and I told myself I was going to pick up one snack. This was the snack I picked up. This has a little bit of peanuts in here. It's just so good. Open this up and actually utilize it. Along the line, more for pastas. Trust me, we make a lot of pasta in this hustle. This is so convenient. And then we have small ones like this. It's a lot darker than what I currently have. Do you see on the bottom of this? I guess it's like the suction of it is this little bit. The push of this is a lot different, very tight seal. The new ones that I have are circle. The ones I had previously are square. A medium size now. I think those are the three sizes it comes in. Oh, it's four sizes. Look, probably transfer my almonds into here. Anyone else just like love organizing like this? This is how I used to keep it in the pantry. Now I can just stick it all. <laughs> Actually mix it with this whole grain wheat pasta. This is from Trader Joe's. It's very hard to cook with because it takes a lot longer for this to boil. The taste is a little bland. Seal it tight. I also have a lot of soba noodles. I didn't know where to store these, so I stuck them in the little bag. I might actually put it there. Pasta noodles. If I'm gonna actually stick my almonds back into my original pan because I realized that I'm gonna just buy a lot more almonds anyway. I actually wanted to put my chia seeds in there. Okay, it looks a lot cleaner in here. Actually, I feel like I could use two more whole sets of these because I still have so much just lying around in my pantry. Very productive morning. I'm very, very happy. Basically, I try not to drink my coffee until 30 minutes to one hour out. That's what I started to do and actually helped a ton for your stomach to properly digest. Drink some water before you drink your coffee. First, I thought that I had to completely switch over to matcha because I was straight up having like gastritis and like my stomach was hurting so bad at one point. And I noticed that it was every single morning morning right after I drink coffee because that was the first thing I would do. Literally just wake up, drink a sip, and then an hour later my stomach just felt like it was turning and I was also always eating too so it wasn't like I was just having coffee on an empty stomach. But then I tried switching over to matcha which helped. I still love matcha. It's just every time I drank matcha I still felt like I needed coffee. Now I don't really deal with a stomach issue. I decided and trust me it didn't take too long for me to go right back onto coffee. Matcha, I will still get you here and there, but on my normal day to days, coffee is definitely the preferred option. I made this yesterday morning. Look how much we ate it. Next time, I'm definitely gonna add chocolate chip and some walnut bits that will elevate this banana bread. Whenever I bake or cook or anything, it makes me also realize how I actually know what sort of ingredients I'm putting into my food versus at a restaurant or cafe. I cannot even imagine how much sugar and processed food, MSG, whatever else they're putting just for it to taste good. So cooking at home is always essential if you're trying to actually think about what you're putting into your body. Trust me, I love eating out. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I eat out every single weekend. But from Mondays to Friday, Mondays to mid-Friday, really, 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 really do try to just cook at home. 
back when we were younger, I feel like we could just eat and do anything without feeling the repercussions of it all. As you age, you start realizing that your metabolism, your mind, your energy is just not the way it was before. Just when you can to keep your body at the best potential. So whenever there is a day or a time when you just want to indulge or whenever you want to just treat yourself, you don't have to feel guilty about it whatsoever because of the normal healthy habits that you've maintained on your own. Second day, banana bread. So moist. I was actually recently told that I was a little crazy for not putting any honey into my Greek yogurt. like a paragraph so I would do my little blurb here and then all right today I am and I intentionally write it out but today I'm thankful for and I think of three specific topics that I'm thankful for I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm trying to post more consistently as well Poke at me if you haven't seen anything and I will catch you guys next time. Bye! Like a fan, you're